Uh, hello. I wanted to do a quick, quickish vlog, not vlog, like a re not a review, you just talking about like um this documentary that I just finished watching yesterday. It's called um, King of Kong, and it's a documentary about um people who play um video games like the the uh, like the retro video games like the really original ones like Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, and um, Space Invaders, all that kind of s stuff, and um. Um, and who who play it and try to get the highest score in the games and um, I first of all like I was recommended to this by Vu who um, told me about this like um, about one or two years ago actually he said it was really good and um, I didn't get around to watching it and then um, uh, just I think a few weeks ago um, my friend Donovan and Chad they were talking about it as well on Facebook and um, they recommended it they said it was a really good documentary and um, I said oh, I might as well give it a go so I put on my to-do list and um, it's on YouTube if you want to watch it so if you type King of Kong you could shoot you should be able to find um, you know it's it's in parts on YouTube or you can probably look for it and stuff like that but it's done really well like what it's about is about basically um, this group of this community uh, I think the website is called Twin Galaxies and um, they they're like the people who um, Oh, it's 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 easier when you just watch it. That explains it so well, and it's it's this documentary that um, like when you first hear the concept, you think, okay, maybe that it might be silly, like just you know these 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 guys just trying to get a high score and get a really old game. But the the documentary is filmed in such a way it's it's done with respect and stuff like that. Like, um, and I I really respect these guys who who play these games and um because it's takes a lot of focus and dedication to be good at anything really and this is like no different to anything else I, I think um, and the thing is like what I also love about it is that the guys who run the website where they're um, like checking out the high scores like people send them videotapes of um, them playing the high scores and stuff like that they have to watch through it they actually have to watch through it, through it. they get sent these tapes every day and um, t to verify if it's real and stuff like that and these guys don't get paid, like the people who, who um, do the high scores, they don't get paid. The people who run the website don't get paid. They just do it because they love games, they love these games. And, and especially the guy who created it, um, I forgot what his name was, but the guy who's like, um, he's got this beard, in the document he's got this beard. But basically he created this place so that there's a, there's a unified place where people around can like, you know, come together and, you know, have this thing where they, they can say that they're the world world's best at this game and stuff like that and um i really like it um and another thing like the way they present the documentary is very entertaining like um it's really like it's got a great storyline like um yeah you when you watch it you'll see it and uh, i just want to say like uh, one of the character one of the people who they focus on a lot is called steve Leeby. um he's um like he's like a challenger for the record of um, Donkey Kong. The main the main uh, documentary is about Donkey Kong, and um, it just goes through his journey about how yeah how he you know tries to get the the high score and stuff. And I really like him a lot. I like his character, like his personality, his um, dedication, his um, you know, like like um, there's a whole thing where he um, he. where he um, submitted this score and then um, it was like the highest score and um, but there was a thing where they didn't think it was uh, th they thought it might not be real because it was associated with a guy who gave him the machine or parts of the machine that he used um, and they don't like that guy who um, gave it to him and um, so they, they denied him the, um, the score and so what he did was he actually went to play it at this famous place called Fun Spot, an arcade, where it's really famous for these people who play these games, and he did it live, like, he went there, he flew over there from wherever he lives, like, a long way away in America, and, um, he actually went there and he played it in front of people and to get the high score, which I really admire, because it's, it's easy to, like, I mean, not easy, but, like, it's easier to do it at your home, video it, and send it in, but to, to go to a place where people are watching you play, you know, it's a lot of pressure and he, he, he stepped up to the challenge and I really, really, really admire it. So I like him a lot and 
I really liked the documentary. I really enjoyed it. And um, I think if you enjoy video games or are interested in this kind of thing, I recommend watching it because it's um, it was done really, really well. And uh, yeah, King of Kong.